All right, so stop. I know what you're thinking. Another AI video for Amazon sellers and e-commerce. I'm sick of this stuff. Look, I'm getting tired of it too. Chat GPT this, new plugin this, new software this. But I think this video is actually unique because I've come across a tool and I've been using it for the last four months that ties directly into the Amazon API, ties in directly to Chat GPT 4. You can use it on the fly when you're on amazon.com. And most importantly, you can analyze multiple competitors, hundreds or thousands of reviews. You can optimize listings. You can understand your customers, who they are, who they're buying it for, why they're buying the products, why they're converting, what they don't like about existing products and more. Buckle in because we're going to get straight into an over the shoulder step-by-step -step analysis on how to use this tool. Giddy up. All right, so let's dive right into this thing. The tool that we're going to be going through today is called Shulix. I've got a link down below with an exclusive discount code, basically the best discount code I could get. So you can log in via that link and you're also going to want to download the Chrome extension. You can use this thing for free and there's a lot of amazing features. There's also an upgraded plan if you want some extra analytics and stuff. But if you're like me who started digging into this thing about four or five months ago when I first saw it posted on LinkedIn from my buddy named Sim, I think you're going to really dig it. So we're going to get into a number of different features. The first one we're going to dive into is basically some competitive analysis that can really help you better understand your competitors but more importantly than that the customers buying the products why they're buying it when they're using it other psychographic data what converts them what deters them a lot of amazing stuff now I've talked about some ways to use this via chat GPT and there's a lot of videos out there on how to leverage chat GPT to do all this analysis the problem is is that it's difficult number one to do with multiple products at once and frankly when you start to upload thousands of reviews or hundreds of reviews it can be really really clunky so what i like about shulix is it's native it ties into amazon and it ties into chat gpt so you kind of have all these forces all in one and it's built for amazon sellers so let's just uh, take a look at how this would look so i've actually been looking recently at a travel guitar basically a folding version of a guitar that i could take with me traveling so we're going to use that as an example here today so you just type in the keyword that you think best describes the product you're looking to analyze this could be one of your existing products or it could be one that you're looking at for product research and then you're going to see this little button down here that is review analysis you can just click that sucker and then you want to select all of the competitors that you actually want to analyze here it's going to automatically pull those that are the top of organic search those are likely going to be the ones with the best sales the most relevant for that keyword so i'm just going to go here and uh, select like four or five of them you can select all if you want but i'm going to select four hit create report and what it's going to do here is it's going to take a couple minutes to run an analysis now that took about 90 seconds once that's done you can just click view report and it's going to kick you over to the shoe look site so at the top you're going to see all of the asins that have been analyzed and then there's a bunch of different sections that get generated based on the analysis that was conducted and leveraged in this report we can see that there's 749 reviews that have been analyzed here and again across all four of those products so the first thing here in the customer insights is going to be the customer profile so you can see here who actually bought it and this is basically the most common consumer reviews that are included with keywords so a lot of these people are buying it for kids. They're buying it for a wife, son, friend, daughter. So it's not only the purchaser on Amazon, that's the demographic, it's who they're buying it for. And you can kind of really pull that out. This is really critical for different periods in time. So say it's Father's Day and say husband or dad is the core demographic, you can really hone in on those keywords. If it's bought for kids, you can kind of fill that out there. The other thing is, is when. So just everyday usage, this one's used for vacation, used at night, used overnights, used every night. So this is a guitar that's used on evenings and it's it's used when on vacation. Some other things in terms of where it's used, people are using this in cars, are using it to take on planes, are using it in hotels, houses, etc. So again, when you hone in on the buying reason based on the review sentiment, you can start to weave those keywords, you can start to talk to your customers with both the photos and the bullets that hone in on those various points. And then what? So obviously this is a travel guitar, so a lot of people are buying it for travel, they're buying it for traveling, for practice, and then to take on a day trip. So again, some keywords and some other things that you can leverage in your listing. So really love that customer profile. Also, you might find some things here like Father's Day or gift or Christmas. You can use some seasonal based words once you start to identify why people are buying this product and adjust both your listing images and product bullets and descriptions after. And then it's got some key reviews that it's pulled out here. 
Usage scenario is another big one. So 38% are using it for travel guitar. There's home practice, beginner guitar. I wouldn't have thought about that, but we can potentially hone in on this being a great beginner guitar. Starter guitar for children, practice, travel practice guitar, learning to play, etc. So again, some use cases pulled out of those reviews that you just wouldn't be able to do manually just looking at things and eyeballing them or even using Google Sheets. Now, customer sentiment. This one is really good for enhancing your product if it's an existing product and or if you're doing product development and figuring out, hey, how can I make this product better? What angle can I cover that's not satisfying existing customers in the segment based on the reviews? So poor sound quality. So again, because it's a travel guitar, a lot of these are dinky guitars and the sound's not great. Tuning issues, poor craftsmanship, low quality components, uncomfortable to play, sharp frets, poor tuning, defective broken parts. So can you improve the sound? Can you improve how well this thing holds a tune when you take the neck off? Can you make it more comfortable and easy to play? Some positive feedback. Again, it's good to know what the best sellers are doing well. So it says great sound, easy to play, awesome sound, durable, lightweight, etc. The other thing here that oftentimes I don't see a lot of people do with reviews is why are people buying it? Or more importantly, why are they actually converting? Understanding this and ensuring that your product and how you deliver your brand, your listing, etc., can really help convert better. So great value. So people are buying this for value and quality. It's perfect for beginners. It's affordable, great for travel and camping, amazing sound, beginner friendly. Again, these are all keywords and hot buttons as to why people purchased and the sentiment on why they purchased. The last here is how are these products meeting customer expectations and what are the unmet needs? Again, very similar to what are the negative reviews coming from? So sound quality, functionality, construction, improving the strings and making it better sound quality. You can also download all of these various sections if you wanted to pull those external, send them to somebody on your team, etc. You can also go to this review section here and say pull all the one-star reviews and just scan what those one-star reviews are. It also has some general topics in terms of what were the key themes, pulling out the keywords here in some of the various listings. You can also look at five stars to see where they're actually doing really well. Again, the pros and any cons that they would have in, in the reviews are gonna pull out here and you can see what the actual sentence is where that sentiment exists. Now that's looking at all four ASINs here. There's a particular guitar here that's carbon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. It's gonna pull over to Amazon. You can also run this analysis on a specific product or if this is your product, you can start to do some really interesting things with a chat GPT t integration. So if I wanted to come here and just look at the review analysis, I could look at that on the specific listing here. So again, whether this is your product you want to analyze or it's one of the top competitors, say an Elf ASIN, you can do that. And it pulls all that same information right here within Amazon. So who's actually buying it, when, where, what, the pros, the cons, usage scenarios, all those different things that we looked at for the category as a whole. Now, what's really cool is you can actually come here to listing optimization. So it's going to actually look at the listing here and it's going to assess some different keywords or some different framing based on the feedback that can be leveraged to improve the listing. So it's got here a new title. It's got some additional bullet points that again, really hone in and tweak what was already on the listing. You can actually copy this over. You can actually go over here to the Shulix Copilot here and you can optimize this even more. So I might wanna say, hey, I wanna put in here travel guitar, camping guitar, beginner guitar. Because again, we noticed in some of the other keyword analysis that it was good for beginners. You can put requirements, you can put original title, original bullets, etc., and hit submit. Now this is using chat GPT. So what's good about this, you're not gonna have to go over to chat GPT, do a bunch of prompts, clunk around, go back and forth, copy, paste from Amazon. It's all done here via this Chrome extension, which is one of the things I really dig. So it's got some additional bullets here. I can actually copy this right here and I can pull that into whatever listing thing I'm actually looking to use. Now, the other thing you can do here is actually click on this chat function within the Copilot and you can actually ask questions. It's got some particular prompts here, but let's just say I am selling a folding travel guitar on Amazon. How can I improve it? And then it's got some pretty generic things here. What I could also say is what features do customers care about. And then it's going to come out with these awesome features here again by assessing the actual category itself. So it's got portability, durability, sound quality, ease of use, and affordability. Now, if you have the paid version, you can also go to full insights and create a specific report on this actual product itself. Again, it's going to pull together all those details that we looked at the outset. You can export any of this stuff. So if this is your product or a key competitor that you want to go after, you can have those insights for your team. Now, the other thing that you can do is to pull actual keywords together. So if I I click on the Chrome extension at the top. I've got translation, Amazon keywords, listing optimization, listing generator, and go here to Amazon keywords. I can just put in the product here. 
Let's put carbon fiber acoustic guitar, acoustic guitars, product features, hit submit. And then it's gonna run an analysis and look at some of the core keywords that people are typing in for that particular category, again, based on some scraping and analysis. So once you submit that, it's gonna give the top 10 keywords. So we've got carbon fiber acoustic guitar, travel guitar, folding guitar, lightweight guitar, portable guitar, acoustic guitar for travel, carbon fiber guitar for travel, small guitar, and collapsible guitar. So if you don't know what keywords people are typing in and you're kind of in a surface level analysis, a quick, easy way to pull that. Some other things you can do from the ask feature are you could do a listing generator. So again, if you have existing product, you could actually go to listing optimization. But if you're starting from scratch, you can come here, select the platform. Product category would be guitars, keywords, travel guitar, folding guitar, beginner guitar. I'm gonna leave the other stuff blank, hit submit. So it's generated a basic title. It's got bullet points, again, based on the customer sentiment and analyzing this product and the category. Gives you a good head start. Again, something that you don't need to actually go to ChatGPT to follow. You can copy this, chop it up how you want in your favorite listing optimization software, or you could even bring that over to ChatGPT if you'd like to actually change things up. Now, some other things from a product research standpoint, let's say that I actually wanna do some category research, or I wanna look at negative review response, translate there's a bunch of different features here but one I really like here is similar products so I could select similar products because I'm actually on a listing here I could submit it and it's going to generate similar products to this which could give you some additional insights for product research for expanding your catalog for making your products better so it's got here different guitar search terms it's got some bundles some other things and it's actually got the search link so I could come over here beginner acoustic bundle gives me some additional ideas now the final thing I'm gonna look at here is actually a product that's off of Amazon so this is a carbon fiber travel guitar that's actually on Shopify. You can actually do some very similar things here using the actual Shopify analysis. So I could come back here to chat and I could basically just say here, can you summarize the key pros and cons of this product? And then I'm just gonna copy in that link from Shopify and it's gonna summarize this actual product. It's gonna say the pros, and then it's gonna also look at the cons. So it's looking at the actual listing on Shopify to pull out stuff and it's looking at the reviews. So guys, I don't talk about stuff that I don't use or that I don't think is really awesome. This is the first truly native AI tool that I've seen that I really dig. It's got a Chrome extension you can use on the fly on amazon.com. It's great for analyzing and using things for product research, for understanding customers, for understanding why they buy, to how to improve conversion. If you've got existing products, it helps you also analyze your product, the sentiments customers are having so how you can tweak your listing and actually improve the product that you sell so again a lot of free features for this i've got a link down below if you just want to use it for free but i think that you're going to find that there's a lot of cool things with the advanced features so we've got the best discount we could get down below don't talk about stuff i don't believe in so i vouch for this i think it's stinking cool and i hope that you put it through the paces and it helps your amazon business till next time cheers guys